I'm Frank Florian at Telus World of Science Edmonton and I'm here to share a science moment with you today here in the Zeter Dome. We're going to take you behind the scenes behind our big dome here that you've probably experienced many times by visiting the Telus World of Science Edmonton. All right, looking at our dome up close, you'll actually see that this dome itself is not a solid dome by any means. It's got lots and lots of little holes in it, which makes the screen itself lightweight. When we go behind the dome here in a minute, you'll be able to see right through the screen, right down to the audience members below when we do have an audience in our theater. So let's take you up to the top of the dome. All right, you might be saying, how do you get up to the top of the dome? Well, around our theater in the back here, which we call the cove, we have two big staircases that lead us upstairs to the very top area where our speakers and spotlighting and everything else that we use for projection above comes down into the theater. So let's take you up the staircase. We're here in the back of the Ziedler Dome. This is actually behind the dome itself. If you take a look around, you'll see we have a catwalk that takes us right to the very, very top of our Ziedler Dome. That allows us to actually do maintenance on projectors, on speakers. In fact, in here we have 17 speakers all situated around the dome of the theater to give you that real surround sound kind of feel. Looking down into our theater through this way, you'll actually notice that you can see right down to the center stage and to all the theater seating. And that again is due to the very small perforations or holes in the aluminum skin of our dome itself. So when you're in the theater, you get that illusion that it's a complete screen to project onto, but in reality, it's mostly empty space. Hi, I'm Joel of the TELUS World of Science Edmonton. I'm in the Ziedler Dome right now to share with you a cool science moment. Now you might have seen me in the Ziedler Dome before as I'm one of the presenters here, but you might have wondered how we actually get those shows to run. To figure that out, we have to be in the console. That's where we are right now. This is where we control the Ziedler Dome. And we have a few main computers here. One you can see over on my side is our laser console. It's where we control our laser shows from. So if you've ever come to see one of those, well, this is where we actually control that from. We also have our full dome system here. This is where we control the night sky and can fly off to any planet or star throughout the universe and get to take a look at what we can find just up there tonight. And then right behind me, we have another computer as well. And we use that for presentations. So if you've ever seen a speaker or a slideshow presentation up in the dome, that's what we use for that one. Now let's take a look and see what happens when we put all these computers together and make a full dome show. So we've turned off the lights, allowing us to see what we're projecting up there on our dome. And right now we're using our full dome system. So you can actually see the Earth up there in our skies. We're orbiting around our home planet right now. And we can even go flying off other places too. While we make our way out to another destination, we can also engage our laser system, bring some lasers up on the dome. We can do everything from a bunny rabbit to celebrate Easter coming up very shortly here. There's some fun, fanciful, abstract patterns using all sorts of neat mathematical equations. And so we can bring up any pattern we would like to suit our shows that we're doing. We can even fly off to our very own natural satellite, the moon. Well, thanks for joining us for our today's science moment. Stay tuned to this space for more cool science facts and experiences at the TELUS World of Science Edmonton. If you can, share this post with your friends and family, and tell us what you think about it in the comments below using the hashtag MyToozy.